should you a man of righteousness help the wicked can you the man of god love those who are hated by the lord how is it you who call yourself to be the servant of god how put your hands in the works which are against god's own will we know the some of you may be knowing some may not know this beautiful story of the great king called jehoshaphat as we know the land of israel was divided into two after the king solomon one is known as northern kingdom known as israel and another is called the southern kingdom called juda juda was ruled by the king called jehoshaphat a great man of god who loved god who sent so many people to praise and worship god even before the war who conquered many wars with the power of prayer on the northern side a cruel king a king who despised god whose name is ahab he was ruling israelites keeping samaria as his head now jehoshaphat gives his daughter to one of the sons of ahab because ahab had plenty of riches a servant of god a child of god who has seen many victories by the power of and the presence of god just he enters into relationship with a man who despises god and one fine day jehoshaphat goes to be with his relative the king ahab ahab wanted to go for the war he was as canny as ever before he tells jehoshaphat let's go for the war and you will be in the friend battle i will be behind you because wherever you go god blesses you so you lead the battle i will be behind you what ahab wanted is jehoshaphat to lead the army if any problem comes let jehoshaphat get killed this innocent man in god's kingdom there is nothing called innocence if you and i don't find time to spend time with god and not knowing the will of god and simply thrown ourselves god will not tolerate you no lord i with innocence i did he will not tolerate there is nothing in the dictionary of god called compromise compromise means you carry the dust and the dirt of the place and of the people along with you god wants each one of us to do his will in his way not to do his will in our way yes jona he wanted to follow the lord but he went in his own way thrown into the deep sea he cried to god god saved him again he was thrown away god said enough is enough god just left him on the way afterwards we do not know what happened to jona jona story is off story if anyone it's not enough to follow the lord we should know every step of us whether it is pleasing to god or whether it is hurting the lord if i don't have time 
to sit at the feet of the Lord to check my way whether my steps are the will of God in line with the will of God now we find Ahab trying to cheat Josephat so Josephat when he was told we will go for the battle he says let's find out whether there is any prophet in the land of Israel we will discuss with him no God's will and then go ahead and then Ahab calls the prophets hundreds of prophets come and they say God blesses you Josephat go into the battle and God will give you the victory in the depth of the heart only the man of God only the man who spends time with God can hear in the inner heart of themselves the voice of God many of the time the voice of God is not heard because we drown ourselves in the noise of the world the rattling sound of want to do this want to do that trying to become like this i want to become like that i want to be i want to be in the rhetoric noises of the world you can't hear the voice of god in the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20 to 22 we read even though he, you eat the bread of suffering in your life the water of trials and tribulation in your life if you are there to sit at his feet if you dare to know God's will spend time with him he will tell you from the depth of your heart my son this is the way my daughter this is not meant for you no lord everybody is walking everybody is walking is different because for me every individual is unique for me every person in which i in i lead them are different you are unique you are special i chose you in your in a particular time somebody else maybe in another time you are put in a particular situation some another in another situation God wants to save give salvation to all people all seasons all places but his work his way will be unique for every time what he used yesterday he may not use today one day he told Moses, take your stick and hit the rock, you will get the water. The next time he said, God knew his stick is broken. So next time he said, you go and speak to the rock. The rock will give you the water. Moses did not hear the word of God properly. Because the people nearby, they were saying, Moses, does God speak to you? Will you do miracles? Hmm? He got so angry. How dare you speak about me? I am the great servant of God. I am the one who led people in the Red Sea. How dare you can talk? Come, I will show my power. He went. He heard only God speaking. Rock, stick, all these things. So he took his stick. He went to the rock. He forgot what God told him. He said, yesterday God told me to hit the rock. So maybe he might have said this today also. So he took the stick and hit it. Only the stick broke no water. So the people, they were there. <laughs> everybody started to make fun of Moses. Moses' face became reddish, sweating. He has been put into shame. He takes the stick, again hits. Though it is not God's will. God who made heaven and the earth, He humbles Himself. He can't see His own chosen vessels going through pain and agony and humiliation. 
and God gives water in on the rock. Though he has not spoken in that way, in order to uplift, protect his servant in front of others, God changes his heart and blesses Moses. My dear friends, Sangam on Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.